I think Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. We, I, I mean, I'm a journalism major, right? I listen to the news every day. It's, there's a lot of problems out there in the world. There's a lot that's going on. And you can look at the small circle of your own little community, your suburb, your city. You can look globally. You can look at the environment, you know, the everything, water, um, the oceans. I mean, there's so many things. But you can passively, passively kind of go through life and say, yep, there's a ton of things wrong. I wish it were different. Yeah. You can actually be the change you wish to see in the world. I remember, you know, being in India and experiencing it as an adult, you know, when I took my sabbatical and, you know, taking the bus to Mother Teresa's orphanage. But then I would see outside of the bus window, these little children just on the street. They'd be begging, they'd be washing the cars, they'd be running in between the traffic, you know, selling things. Mm -hmm. And I remember looking at them and thinking, what would that kid be if he could go to school? Mm -hmm. What would she be if she wasn't sitting on that side of the road, you know, in the middle of the hot day? And what, what could she be? And I realized that I, I had a part to play. Mm -hmm. I could do something. I could go talk to that child. I could figure out what the situation is. I could see what was possible. Mm -hmm. And that is really how it began. And I do think Gandhi, Gandhi G was right. You know, I do think that it's, it's on us. We can't just expect others to do it. And, you know, the other thing I would say is that word of mouth is extremely powerful. Stories are extremely powerful. 